Welcome to the Toffee Blues, your source for all things Everton. Uh, we just had some news for you rest- yesterday that seems to have a pretty positive reaction across the board. Andre Gomez has agreed a five-year deal with Everton uh, to sign permanently after a successful loan spell last year. Uh, the transfer fee was £22 million, uh, with Barcelona, which is an absolute bargain, to be honest. He was signed for over £33 million for Barcelona from Valencia. Uh, so for them to take a, such a big cut on him, com- con- considering he had a great season in the Premier League and attracted interest from other clubs in the Premier League last season. Um, I think it shows both the good relations between Everton and Barcelona and what's the, what, what that's going to bring, um, what that's brought in the past, obviously, with quality signings such as Luca Dean and, and now Gomez as well, as their previous dealings, such as Yerimina and Gerard De La Feu. But I think that price tag just shows the relations between Everton and Barcelona. Um, absolutely quality. Doing, doing both both teams a lot of... Um, a lot of favour, so we're all absolutely over the moon that Gomez has signed. I haven't seen a negative reaction at all. Um, obviously made up. Um, he may not have chipped in with goals and assists last season, but if you, if anyone anyone who watched Everton would see how integral he was to the team in terms of being specifically the type of player that Marco Silva wants in that defence midfield alongside a player like Idrissa Gay. Someone with the composure who can drop into the full-back positions when the full-backs are attacking. Someone who can shield the ball with his body and just spray 40-yard passes absolutely beautifully. Um, Every every Everton fan I've seen on Twitter on across all social media platforms are absolutely over the moon with this sign, and so um, it p- pretty much are probably our first major sign of the summer as well. I know we've got Lucille in goal, but that was on a free, and obviously he's going to be primarily on the bench uh, next season. But Gomez is. Well, it was kind of the top wave on everyone's transfer list priority, to be honest. It was Gomez and Zuma, and then the rest, uh, whoever, whoever else may come in. But uh, it's taken a while to be announced. Uh, I think the deal was in place quite a while ago, but finally being announced, um, it did take a while. But we finally got there, and everyone's over the moon. So uh, great news on Gomez. Um, it just remains to be seen what else can we, we can do this summer, obviously, because the transfer deadline has been brought Brought forward a little bit, so we've got less time. Obviously, um, it shuts um, basically when the Premier League starts, so we haven't got too much time to get other deals over the line. Even though Marcel Brand said it would be a big summer, but I think this is just the start of a big summer because obviously um, Marco Silva said himself that this was a priority getting that one over the line. So now that's done, we can start to work on other deals, whether that be Kurt Zuma or whether that be another centre back and another right back, another. Right foot, uh, left foot of right winger, and and obviously another striker. So it will be a big summer, but now it's finally kicked off, and everyone's buzzing about Andre Gomez. And I am myself, to be honest, uh, just majestic every time we watched him play. Although he, he may have dipped in form sometimes, just to come in and show polar opposite from what he did at Barcelona. Because I remember watching him at Barcelona the previous season, and he just looked completely out of place. He was getting to, uh, stick off all the fans who called him, nicknamed him Despacito, which means slowly in Spanish, because he just didn't seem to. Fit in. He didn't like it there. He, he was obviously mentally just um, scarred from the experience. To be honest, he said himself in an interview that he was a uh, he was going through hell at Barcelona. But now he came to Everton and we made him feel loved. He took a massive part in the community, as, as big as his part in the pitch. To be honest, for me, he took a massive part in Everton, Everton in the community. Even when he was uh, out injured, out, out suspended, certain periods, he just um, he did a lot for the club. Um, perhaps. More or as much as any other player during last season's community campaign, uh, and as well, he was just just as integral on the pitch when he was there. I know um, Morgan Schneiderlin came in for him at the end of the campaign when he got that suspension, but um, when he, when he was in that role, he was really just uh, really impressed us, and to get one that one over the line is a is a brilliant bit of business. Uh, obviously, everyone fancies him as well, so it's uh, it's great news. But twenty two million definitely a bargain in today's market, absolute bargain considering what he was signed for. Barca sort have of agreed to take a cut on that, and um, it was signed for um, originally for Valencia for eighteen million. So the fact that we've got him, uh, what was that, fifteen, sixteen season? We've got we've got him four or five years later. Obviously, that was when he was. 20, 21 years old as well. We've uh, that that was for eighteen million, and we've signed up for twenty two. Four or five years later, when he's getting towards his prime at this age, he's twenty five years old now. So hopefully, we'll see his prime in an event shape because um, obviously he struggled to pass, but we've we've made him feel loved here, and he's uh, he, he definitely wanted to stay. So great news on Andre Gomez. Let us know what you think in the comments as well, and whether you think uh, what what do you think of the transfer window so far? Should we have moved faster, or do you think this is a uh, represents good business so far? And uh, what? Where should we go from here? Who next? Because uh, obviously that's the first major one over the line. But uh, with Marcel Brand saying it will be a big summer, we are expecting a few more incomings, at least three or four, I think. So um, who you think will next? Uh, who you think will be next? And obviously the Gomez reaction as well. Let us know what you think in the comments. Like the video, subscribe to Toffee Blues, and thanks a lot for watching. Join us next time on the Toffee Blues. Oh!